Love Ooh. brought you here. Ooh. Love brought me here. It also brought every single human being on this earth here. That shows. I mean, that's not true. Sometimes niggas are just horny. How important love truly is. And what is one way to find love in the beautiful year of 2024? Dating apps. We've all been on a dating app, right? Or am I just exposing myself for being down bad? I've yeah, you exposing yourself. Chat, do y'all use dating apps? Because I thought about it um, a long time ago. Like, how are niggas meeting people? Because they say that they have issues dealing with, like, the female women dating sphere and stuff like that. I'm like, well, how do you meet people? And they be like, okay, well, I meet them at the club, at the function, you know what I'm saying, at a kickback, you know what I'm saying, or they're already somebody that I knew before that I'm trying to, you know, uh, reignite a flame with. But nobody ever really tells me dating app. I have never, no one's ever told me, like, person to person that i've used like tinder or um i don't know what else there is used to but it's wild on there not anymore used to but then i realized having a circle is a lot easier and saves time i agree with you stopped after 2020 hinge bumble nigga cranium is <laughs> i feel like everyone one in their life has like an arc where they're on dating apps like crazy i'm not gonna lie my arc actually came pretty early because i mean i'm 20 years old i dropped out of college i don't go to parties nah bro you're too young to be on dating apps i feel like 25 what 30 honestly 30 to 35 is like perfect dating app range i feel like maybe no no 30 to 40 30 to 40 is like perfect dating app range i feel like but when you when you 20 you got way too many options i feel like i think i think i think i used a dating app to meet my current bf of three years okay we met on the blocks app i thought I that liked him first and we met up that same weekend we instantly clicked less than three okay that's good that's a great that's great for you i'm glad you had an amazing i need another sound bar for that i need like at least a hand clap or something i can't use a bass drop for everything fuck um that's good for you though gym and i make videos how else am i gonna find women i mean i could try raising up women at the gym but i mean i'm not trying to be joey swole's next victim so that's already out of the window so what do i result to the wonderful world of online dating it's a where else would you go if i'm not meeting a new girl through a mutual friend or at a get together gathering a social event you know what i'm saying um Through random compliment, if I'm out and about, either I give or a woman gives me. Outside of that, there's really no way to we to really meet women. Unless you start traveling. Unless you start traveling. Unless you start traveling. Yes. That's why I'm gonna travel this year. For whatever reason, I feel like women can spot a tourist. For whatever reason elaborate no not a passport bro i'm not trying to go out the country to get some foreign woman that don't know how to speak english and she don't know when she's being treated unwell i mean like a like let me go to toronto or some shit like that right and they know i'm a newcomer or i'm going to new york or some shit like that right and then they spot me anytime i'm in an area that i'm not used to people spot me travel to sweden bro it's i know it's milk i know it's milk i'm march milk or whatever you call it mark madness milk madness I'm not, I'm just not that deep. Amazing. It's glorious. It's garbage. Now, for those of you that have never been on a dating app before, I feel like I got to explain to you guys the big three. You know how people always say there's a big three for anime? Well, it's the exact same thing for dating apps. And that big three is Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble. What? Tinder is the generic dating app with the whole swipe right and swipe left system. Right for like, left for dislike. If two people swipe right on each other, boom, it's a match. After you match, you can text that person back and forth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. But if I'm being honest, nobody is on Tinder looking for a relationship. Everyone is just on Tinder looking to smash. And no, I'm not talking about Hulk smash. I'm talking about... Then you got Hinge, which is basically the dating app that gives the ugly dudes a shot. I say it gives the ugly dudes a shot because with Hinge, it has a completely different system compared to Tinder. Instead of just mindlessly swiping left and right, you have to like a picture or a prompt on somebody's profile. And with that, you can attach a little message to it. And if that person likes the message or likes how you look... It's See, I could never survive on, a, on an app like this because I'd be liking hella pictures. So I don't want to be DM'd after.
and that person can choose to match up with you. So if you're not gifted with the looks of ASAP Rocky or Michael B. Jordan, then you still have a shot because you can kind of show off your personality. And then you got Bumble, which in my opinion is honestly the worst out of the three. It's Damn. the same thing as Tinder. It's got the whole swipe left and swipe right system. But here's the twist. You know how in society, usually the man makes the first move when he's pursuing a woman? Well, on Bumble, it's a complete opposite. The women are supposed to make the first move. Men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other. But if they match, only the women can text first it's pretty stupid if i'm being honest with wait what the opposite the women are supposed to make the first move men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other but if they match only the women can text first it's pretty stupid if i'm being honest with you on paper it sounds like a great idea you know how does that sound like a great idea on paper so i see online a lot of people saying like if women shot their shot more there will be more relationships out in the world which i do believe to an extent but at the same time i do think it's kind of stupid for an app to only let women shoot their shot first because i mean at the end of the day if i was a woman i would go nowhere near bumble and i say that because it just sounds like extra work like why download an app where i gotta make the first move and put in that extra step it keeps out strange behavior no the fuck it doesn't <laughs> i could just save it until you message me oh shit you met we match boom all right accept boom here goes the dick pic like i'm, I'm not saying i'm gonna do it i'm just saying like that don't stop shit and women are just as weird they be seeing the out of the way nigga i have bro this is on twitter dog i have a girl who's been messaging me since september of last year when i was sick she sent me the exact same message daily the exact same message daily when you come to new orleans let me suck your dick I'm trying to see if there's a difference in the message. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. What the fuck is that? Mr. Victim. That's right. That's victim mentality. And all I'm saying is I didn't zoom in. I didn't zoom in. I didn't zoom in. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is women do insane shit on a regular basis. I wasn't studying. I just noticed that it was a I thought it was I just I it was something like all that's legitimately terrifying. That's what I'm saying. Bro might agree on further inspection. I mean, I might have to just see what she's talking about, but I'm just saying, like, let's not act like, let's not act like, you know what I'm saying? Women messaging first is, is optimal because it's not, it's not, it's not optimal at all. Women only shoot their shot when clout or money is involved. Nah, that's not true. Especially in public. I, I got crazy shit said to me when I was in public from women that had no idea who I was. So that's, it, it just depends on the person. And I won't say crazy, but it seems crazy in comparison to the more tame shit that you might get, as opposed to like a woman saying, oh, I think you look good, or what's your number, or I like your outfit, or I like your hair, or I like your shoes, or blah, 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 blah. And she might say something a little bit more direct than up front, you feel me? But uh, it, it's not strange at all, I wouldn't say. When I could just download Tinder or Hinge and just have men flock to me. It's like asking somebody if they'd rather get $1 million for free or $1 million, but they actually have to put the work in. Obviously, everybody's going to pick that $1 million for free. But yeah, those three apps are pretty much the main three dating apps. No, it's not even Mr. Bitches. It's just some women are also really social. So like if you're in a social setting, a lot of women would just talk in general, not necessarily to get anything out of you, but just because they want to talk. Some women are literally just more social. Apps, anything else I've honestly never used because be real with me. Who is out here using FarmersOnly.com? One thing that all these apps have in common, though, I remember Black People Meet, was that they all have these premium subscriptions, which offer things like more swipes, more information, like who liked your profile, and boosts so more people can see your profile. But if we're being honest here, this is just a dating app's way of capitalizing on lonely men. And with the, the weird way women was acting with Drake's leaked nudes, starting to think every nigga just sex deprived. Yeah, I mean, they weren't. Yeah, they they were weird on that. They were super weird on that. 
on dating apps, most men get less matches than women because there's so many men on these apps. There's actually studies that show that Tinder is 75% men, Hinge is 64% men, and Bumble is 76% men. So what this means is niggas gotta start fucking. That's what that means, bro. That's just what that means, dog. Y'all niggas gotta start fucking. Like it, it's just a, it's just a look at the statistics. Look at the look at the numbers, bro. This is not set up for you to be with a woman. Basically, is what they're saying. And you know, in real life, there are more women on the planet than there are men. I think. So if that's the case, and less of them are using these apps, what do you really want when you think about it? What do you really want? I know what you want, and you know what you want. Accept it. Accept it. And go to uh what's that one um grinder accept it and go to grinder so what's one way to help with this overflow of men buying their premium subscription and what's even crazier is the pricing on these premium plans. what what the fuck is this one week of what on these plans cost breakdown for hinge what is hinge plus what does the plus give you that the negative doesn't or the regular one doesn't hundred dollars and then there's tinder select which is tinder for five hundred dollars per month bro now i gotta state this right here tinder select isn't open to the public you have to actually sign up for this only less than one percent of tinder users actually have tinder select so it's not really that important it's pretty rare but regardless it is tinder for five hundred dollars a month like we're not gonna sit here and act like that's completely normal for five hundred dollars i better have a shot with tiana trump margot robbie ruby rose and any other you're not getting the shot gives it's you more chances well. to like and boost i don't know your profile i'm sorry i don't know why he just threw margot Robbie in there is it 500 was gonna get you in the same room as you would with maybe Ruby Rose or Tiana Trump I don't Lots even know why he tried that be less lonely if they I don't even know why he tried home. that one I don't even know why he tried that I, I saw you try to sneak that one in there it's the, that was a good one that was a good one. you not not nah, stop it stop it now guys got to focus on themselves or for a meaningful connection that's it Tom T let lust control you it ain't worth the soul ties for real well some people just want a, co a connection I don't believe every person on these dating apps is just a hornball that just wants to stick their dick into every little thing, bro. I don't believe that. Some people want to be close. They want connections. Some people just want friends. I, be, I believe a lot of these things not being marketed as dating apps will be better marketed as like friendship development tools where you go and you can meet up at a particular pl a place to enjoy an activity whatever the fuck you know like okay i could find six people to, to show up at this basketball park with me and we play a game i feel like that would be a better use for dating app quote unquote dating app time to get people in connection with more people in general um not saying that people still don't want to fuck but i don't know i, still, I think not it's a better sure use i'm not good at math so say if i make 670 every two weeks and spend 70 dollars on cigarettes how much will i have left so sick of this nigga, man. For baddie on this earth. $500 is literally the price of a PS5. The saddest part about Tinder Select, though, is that the people who actually buy this are most likely still going to get the same results that they did. I feel prior like to flirting is more Select. catered to just hooking up than long term stuff, which sets people up for failure and bad expectations, etc. I don't know. But let's be real. Some people honestly just deserve to learn the hard way. If you spend $500 on a dating app, I mean, you deserve to have that post-transaction clarity. Also, one year of Tinder Select would be $6,000, which is absolutely crazy to me. If you're spending $6,000 for a dating app, number one, seek help. Number two, find God. I mean, I would say the same thing to anybody on a dating app, though. Any subscription-based service or, well, maybe they don't pay. Do you get Tinder for free? I don't care. I'm just saying, being on there in general, I don't know what, I, I, I don't know. It's, it feels like such a such, such an odd way to have a first, and it wouldn't technically be your first encounter. I'm just not used to doing things like that, I guess. Number three, you're probably ugly if I'm being real with you. What the fuck? But you want to know a crazier fact? 14% of Tinder's users are paying users, and that's out of 75 million people. And 14% of 75 million is 10.5 million. So that means that 10.5 million people are paying users on Tinder. But if I'm being honest, I'm not really as surprised. I mean, right now we are going through a loneliness pandemic. Studies actually show that one in four adults feel lonely in the world right now. And also we are living in a time where a lot of people aren't really as wise with their money. I mean, you got people out here buying OnlyFans subscriptions. You got people out here who are 
are spending tons of money on in-game purchases like battle passes. Yeah, but the majority aren't doing that though. And in-game skins. I think the majority that have those loneliness issues stem from their work and their lifestyle taking them out of conditions that make it easier for them to find new people to date taking them out of social settings and putting them in work environments for majority of their uh free time and then once they get out of free time they want to rest so not only is it not optimal for meeting a new person it's just not optimal for hanging out with your friends your peoples as much which i'm not gonna lie i am pretty guilty of and you also got people out here spending tons of money on doordash and fast food each and every day so all that being said nobody's i mean people have money for these things but i don't think that they're it's not a pl it's not a plague to regular people, not not in the way that it's made out to be right now. What is ten to twenty dollars nowadays? People blow that like it's nothing. So why not spend ten to twenty dollars and possibly get a relationship out of it? It's you saying he's talking to me? He's not talking to me, bro. I don't have a DoorDash bill, and it's not a problem for me. He's saying people that have an issue managing their money. I don't got that issue, bitch niggas. Just stop it. I'm trying to push a narrative. I'm not letting you do it. Sounds reasonable. Right? And that's exactly how dating apps get you. At the end of the day, dating apps are a business and the goal of a business is to make money. If the goal of a dating app was to help each and every user find their significant other so they could live happily ever after in life, then that dating app would go out of business because that app would make no money at all. So what are dating apps doing? Selling a solution to the lonely society. And if you're that lonely man that's maybe dropped out of college, only goes to work in the gym, and you're not really around that many women, then you're their exact target because you have two things, money and loneliness. But what's it? What makes you think they got money? Even worse is the algorithm of these dating apps. Tinder actually used to use this ELO system, which is basically a ranking system that's used in chess and video games. I say used to in quotes because Tinder said they took it out, but let's be real. That's just a PR business cover up. We all know that they're still using it till this day. And how it works is they would rank you based on your attractiveness slash how many people would swipe right on you. So pretty much if a ton of people swipe right on you, that means that you're in high ELO and Tinder <laughs> use you a lot and if you're a person who a bunch of people swipe left on and they just skip you basically that means that you're in low elo <laughs> and you're ugly but if that high elo person likes somebody's profile who's low elo that low elo person's score goes up so if that high what the fuck <laughs> elo person has terrible taste in men or women it's a field day for the ugly human beings of the earth but what's one way nah, to have that is high fucking elo hilarious on your feed and have your profile pushed out to more people in general paying for their premium plans it's actually pretty sad because it all just boils down to dating apps wanting more money that At the is end of the day, fucked love up it's priceless you can't just pay your way to love just have fun go outside live your life and eventually you'll find your significant other i feel like too many people nowadays try to force slash rush the process of things and one of those things being relationship slash love now with this video do i expect every single person that watches it to delete every single dating app on their phone no because that's not my intent i mean if you use tinder or any other dating app for free i honestly don't care like if that's what you find fun that's what you find fun but i guess my whole point of this video is that do not spend your money on dating apps you work hard for your money and if you're young twenty dollars is like one to two hours of work and if you're old that's like less than an hour of work but regardless do you really want your twenty dollars no if you if a lot of old niggas that's that's one to two hours of work for them too to go to a slimy dating app let's be real here but yeah with all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video it'll be right up here on the screen. oh god the downfall of twitter jesus christ it was never good I'm sorry that was good i like that low elo is fucking hilarious why would you ask chat something like that what do you mean oh now i got low elo okay right got you you gotta tell that to somebody who's got like insecurity issues bro